What's going on in the loop fans? It's Drew here at Legoland Florida and this is going to be a complete full tour of Miniland USA showing you off all the neat things that we got here. All that stuff in between. Starting off our adventure here we've got the Daytona International Speedway and some cool detail here. So you've got like uh, an FJ Cruiser down here like who tries one of those things but yet they got somebody here must really like them because they have not one but two different ones sitting here in the parking lot for that. So that's kind of cool. Um, you've got some sort of accident that took place here because you had an ambulance. Uh, all of the, uh, the tailgaters out in the center of the thing. Especially this one who's got his flags like Specta Country. All that good stuff. Really fun. And then you've got all the fans here in the stands watching. And there goes number 44 just racing around the track. It's pretty impressive. Ah, number 13 won, so he's celebrating. He's victory. Next on our tour is NASA Kennedy Space Center here. A lot of cool stuff there, a lot of neat details. Now I don't know if uh, this does uh, us justice if you can actually tell what's going on. But uh, it's really neat how the detail on the NASA planet logo there, the American flag, all that really good stuff. Some space shuttle. This is what's really cool is the, uh, the launch site here. And they count down till takeoff. There is currently uh, a little over four minutes left until that bad boy shoots up into space. Not gonna wait around for that though. But I imagine it's pretty cool. All right, hello and welcome to beautiful Miami. We've got Miami Beach here. We've got people boating. It's pretty cool stuff. That looks like the guy from Scarface. And he's got some people on the banana thing there. The good stuff. Oh man, look at this. So this cop pulled over the Lamborghini. It's neat going on there. What is going on? In Miami. That guy right there, the Flagger Museum. You know, located not too far away from Legoland, it's Bach Tower. Cool. Over here you got a pirate shipwreck or some sort of shipwreck. That's pretty cool. Some other old classic buildings. It's like St. Augustine. This little pirate section is pretty neat and detailed. Although I'm not really sure exactly where this is. So we got a sign here, so I'm gonna learn some stuff as we go along. Oh, it's just pirates. That's cool. So it's just themed to pirate land. There's no rhyme or reason. It's just a, a little piratey village. These ships sort of remind me of Mystic Seaport in uh, Connecticut, a field trip I had to go to on school that I thought was boring. But uh, when it's in Lego form, not quite as boring. Right here we got the Florida State Capitol. So I have to admit, it is awesome that we have this giant mini golf course here. Well, Lego version of mini golf course. And it's called, you check that out, Mini Mini Golf. But I, I, I don't get it. Does anyone know why this is here? Did it start in Florida? Oh my God, look at this. The awesome mini pop machine. Oh God, that's so cool. A little bathroom. That's sweet. Panama City Beach, we were just there a couple of months ago. Pretty nice stuff. I actually think we went out onto that pier and took a picture. Now, just along with the, go fishing, we're going fishing. Got him. 
caught it. We caught a mermaid. Look at that. We caught a mermaid. Yeah. The uh, Orlando Eye and the Madame Tussauds and the Sea Life Aquarium. It's good synergy here. I actually think Hyde used the word synergy in his video also. So uh, synergy it is. Definitely, definitely important since they're both Merlin properties. All right, and we are downtown Tampa. I know this because I can read that sign right there. It says, Tampa. Oh, and you push this button, it rains. It, you get wet. I don't know why. Well, it does rain in Tampa all the time. They're really missing like lightning bolts. Like, <sighs> Oh, and this is awesome. You get the Everglades and an airboat. That's cool. Up next on the tour is Key West. And uh, the Hemingway House, the Sloppy Moe's Bar. I don't know anything about Sloppy Moe's Bar, but now I really want to go just because it's in Lego form. It's got to be really important. So it's Key West. Look at that ambulance. It's not moving. It was moving. It's not moving anymore. That's sad. There's that southernmost point. Icon, very photogenic. All right, folks, it's time to move on to Viva Las Vegas. And I like how they have, it's, it's perfect. So like things that are on this side of the strip are on this side of the pathway. And things that are on this side of the strip are on this side of the pathway. Obviously we don't have all of the hotels. We have like the unique ones. So you've got like the Luxor, which has the pyramid and the Sphinx. Although I will say from like a logistical point of view, the pyramid is not nearly as big as it is in Vegas compared to the size of the Sphinx. But that's all right. All the neat little stuff there. Moving on, you've got the Excalibur Casino. Fun stuff going on here. Here's the front. And you've got the New York, New York Casino. Uh, they don't have the roller coaster. The roller coaster just added VR, so that'd be really funny if they made fun of that and put a VR helmet on there. Ready, aim, fire. Oh, the ship shoot. That's cool, the ship shoot. I don't know why, but they do. People thinking outside. Some cool stuff there. Here we are at the Mirage, home of Vegas Vacation. Just really not what I should be thinking of when I think of Vegas, but. I think of this hotel as the home of Vegas Vacation. But you know what it's famous for? Their Volcano Eruption Show! That's awesome. And then Treasure Island, home to its uh, pirate show. All of that is good stuff. Over here is the Stratosphere Tower, and it's got the ride on top of it. The Big Shot is located on top of the tower. That's pretty cool. There it is. Ooh, we're gonna save the date here. Uh, here comes the bride and groom. Uh, they eloped. Open seven days till midnight. Ah, oh, look at them go. Ah, and here is the Madame Tussauds of Vegas. That's some synergy right there as well. But this is the Venetian. Neat stuff going on there. Paris, you've got the balloon and the Eiffel Tower. And they're taking wedding photos out here. Check that out. We got wedding photos taken right outside the Eiffel Tower. Be neat. The MGM Grand, this is uh, some celebrities popping up here because everyone's taking pictures of them. Can you tell who it is? I can't tell who it's supposed to be. I don't know, what do you think? Can you tell who it is? Here you go, the back side of the MGM Grand. 
And the last hotel here in Vegas is the Tropicana. Which, funny enough, so Hyde pointed out that someone's robbing and they knocked over the uh, chef. Well, the chef is now standing again. Hello and welcome to the Georgetown Canal, which I'm just learning is a thing. The Chesapeake and Ohio Canal flows to an old area of Washington known as Georgetown to Columbia, Maryland. All right, that's a thing. Nice detail. All right, now we are here in our nation's capital. We got the White House here. Um, is that Donald Trump? Might be, might be our president. So you got the White House, the uh, Washington Monument. Over there is the Jefferson Memorial. And then you got the uh, World War II Memorial and the Lincoln Memorial. That's about all I know about history. Ah, and here we have the Capitol building. There it is. There's our Capitol, nation's capital. And you can see uh, the mall down there. Ah, lots of good stuff. And the band's marching. I can see the Statue of Liberty already. Very small, of course. And that is huge. The, the New York section is probably the tallest of all the buildings. You see, you got New York here going there. So you've got the Statue of Liberty and other buildings that people find interesting probably are the Empire State Building. You got 30 Rock right there. And the Chrysler Building. I think time, Times Square is pretty cool with all the signs. And then the, uh, the theaters and stuff like that. That's where your ball drops, right there. Here we go, there's a better shot of 30 Rock. Right there. Here we are in Central Park. And buildings surrounding it. Anyone want to comment what this is? It's clearly a zoo, but it has no sign, so I couldn't tell you what zoo it is. Is it like the New York Zoo? Is the New York Zoo like famous or anything like that? I don't really know, but it's clearly a zoo by New York, but it has no sign. Would you look at that? It's the Golden Gate Bridge. And here we are in San Francisco. San Francisco's on a refurb right now. You can see, got the carousel here, but a lot of uh, this area it's under refurbishment. Could you imagine driving these hills in real life? Do, do, do. More of San Francisco. We're in Chinatown now. You got the Chinese restaurant. It's kind of fun. Chinatown. All right, it's everyone's favorite part of the show. It's the Great Movie Ride? No, it's the Chinese Theater. But right next to it is Madame Tussauds, which just goes to show my exact problem with this Chinese Theater and where it's located. It's in this tourist trap crap area of LA. But you got Lego wood, written up there in the wood. Hollywood Boulevard. I think it's weird they didn't put any Lego stars on the ground. I would say that's a, that's a missed opportunity. And you've got the amphitheater here, the Hollywood Bowl. That's pretty cool. These guys look like they're up to no good. All right, friends, it's time for our final section of Mini Land, and that is the Star Wars section. So you got the Mosley Cantina in here. So you got that bar, which is awesome. All the stormtroopers outside of the bar. Looking to get in here. You got the Millennium Falcon. Millennium Falcon is taken off. So we're in Tatooine now and the Millennium Falcon is flying. All right, let's jump into hyperspace and now we're on Hoth. Where you got the AT-ATs battling it out here. You can see inside of the, uh, the base here inside of Hoth. You got little C-3PO and R2-D2. You come over here. You got even bigger R2D2. Look at this guy. Isn't he adorable? Hey guys. Beep boop boop boop. And then Darth Vader, but nobody cares about you. It's all about this guy. 
All right, I don't know how well this shows up on the camera as it is kind of in a shady area that you could miss, but the Ewoks are destroying this ATAT. -AT. All right, and a scene from the Clone Wars. And with that, it concludes our tour here of Miniland USA. Thank you for watching this video and all of our other videos here on the YouTube channel. Comment if you saw something that you thought was really cool. Comment if you saw something that you're like, what was that? Or I was like, what was that? And then you know exactly what it is. Feel free to let us know. But thank you for watching. Follow me on Twitter at Drew the Intern, and we will see you on the Midway. Maybe this one, maybe another one. Oh man. That is awesome.